It's been nearly seven years since the murder of Anna Politkovskaya, but even now justice seems precarious. At Moscow City Court, five men stand trial for her killing, but the process has been anything but straightforward. Politkovskaya's children have refused to take part, saying the proceedings are unlawful. We have a suspicion that they want to end this trial just in time for another anniversary of Anna Politkovskaya's death. I think it is not right, both from the standpoint of the law and in terms of fairness and conscience. Her family say they were excluded from consultations about the jury and that the authorities attempted to rush the trial date. The case has dragged on for several years and supporters of the murdered journalist say she was killed for speaking out against Russian-backed atrocities in Chechnya and for criticizing Putin's presidency. After she was gunned down in her apartment building, many say there was little doubt she was killed for speaking openly about what was happening in Russia at the time. An earlier trial acquitted three men of the murder, but that decision was then overturned by Russia's Supreme Court and investigators have yet to provide any details of who masterminded the killing. The trial continues without the inclusion of Politkovskaya's family. Their decision to boycott the proceedings is supported by her colleagues at the paper for which she worked. For them, even after so many years of waiting, justice is still a very long way from being done. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera.